The empires of old are an area of historical interest rife with potential for a war game. Too true. Sure, we've seen a jillion Roman Empire games. Four jillion. But how many games offer you the chance to play out the conflict between the African nations toward the end of the first millennia AD? Not too many. In fact, I'd go as far as to say one. Legion's a product of the in-house design team at Mindscape. Legions can't be faulted for historical depth. It's obvious a lot of research went into creating this game. Nor can it be faulted for its good looks, scope, variety of scenarios, interface, or multiplayer support. It's got network play. Uh -huh. So what can we fault it for, Demosthenes? I was just getting to that. But first, let's talk a bit about the game itself. Legions is a historical war game of imperial conquest, with additional diplomatic and economic management elements. It's tile-based and involves capturing cities and towns and using the resources they produce. In many ways, it reminds me of a war gamey cousin to civilization. There are 10 historical scenarios covering time periods from 1200 BC to 800 AD. Military units are historically appropriate to the empires of the scenarios and include such oft overlooked pieces as cattle and flaming pigs. You can play the scenarios in historical fashion so that the empires involved and difficulty are fixed based on what really happened or randomly where you can adjust several detail levels about the scenario. Can I bash it now? Uh-uh, not just yet. You can also play a completely random game, random maps, random cities, random empires, although you pick the number involved, so there's no way to get bored with a selection of scenarios available. The diplomacy options in Legions are, uh, Legion. Oh, that was bad. Ahem. <clears throat> you have a defined relationship with other empires, which you can change by entering into an agreement with them. You can be at several different degrees of war or alliance or simply agree to remain neutral. This is very cool, but I did notice that the computer players tended to make some weird choices. I mean, they declare war on you, then a month later they turn around and ask for an economic alliance. Weird. Now? Patience. What else do you... Okay, I know. I can tell them about the interface. Do that. The interface is very cool. See these buttons? This shows you the units in the stack you have selected. Click on the button you want, and presto, up come the stats for that unit. To move a unit, just click and drag to where you want it to go. A path appears, showing you the quickest route to get there. Hold the control key, and you move all the units in the stack at once. All the other controls in the game are accessed through the menus, with shortcuts for the most common commands right where you'd expect them in a Windows product, on the toolbar. I would have liked it better if you could program the toolbar yourself, like most Windows products. True, but give them a break. This is, what, the third serious game for Windows? It's going to take time for games to reach the level of maturity of most Windows productivity software. Besides, I myself don't want to see games that you can mistake for Excel. All right, already. Bash away. Hot dog! Legions is an extremely complex game with a lot of underlying details. Unfortunately, many of those details are never adequately explained. As a result, learning how to play the game is very, very difficult. Don't pick this one up and expect to be dancing on the graves of your enemies within minutes. It takes a lot of patience and dedication to figure it out. Details. You mean, like the supply thing? Yeah, good example. Man, that ticked me off. I mean, I know that the armies consume a number of supplies, but nowhere could I find out how many. I think it has something to do with how far they are from your nearest city and whether they're moving or not, but I'm not sure. The question is, is it worth it? Absolutely. It's an extreme pain in the butt learning to play this game, but once I did learn it, I enjoyed it a great deal. It's challenging, it's fun. If only Mindscape would do something to make it easier to figure out and give us a few more insights into how the game works. I'd recommend this game to anybody with an interest in strategy games in a second.